Hi guys, thanks for coming to my channel. So, um, if you're following in my bike videos, um, you'll know that I was going to put a rack on the back of my bike. I have the Rad Mini Step Through from RadPowerBikes.com. It's an e-bike. Um, I had to order their the rack from them because the frame they made it in such a way that there's it won't fit a traditional bike rack. So, long story short, um, it was the frame of my bike was messed up. So, if I'm sitting on the bike. Um, my left side where my left leg uh, touches it that side of the frame is fine But the right side where my right leg touches where the rack is supposed to go on that side. It is a little crooked like how where The frame, you know bolts onto the right the rack Sorry the rack bolts onto the frame in the back the top of it's fine, but in the back um, so on the left side it's like this but then on the right side it's like that like it's off just a little bit like just a hair um, and I'll go ahead and, and put photos in right here hi so as you can see in the photos um, it was still a little bit crooked but they were able to get it on so it's totally fine uh, the bike tech guy he said don't worry about it there's there are not gonna be any issues with it the only issue that I would have is if I wanted to take the bike rack off um, it would be really hard and I would probably need to go ahead and take it into the shop but there would really be no need for me to do that unless I came across some other kind of bike rack contraption that just looked so great and I wanted it more than that but other bike racks so far that I've seen don't even fit on this bike frame. Um, which is why I waited so long till they stocked them. Um, also, I like the frame. I like the bike rack on this too. Um, you know what I mean. Anyways, um, so that and then uh, they uh, sent an invoice or whatever to Rad Power Bikes. Um, and then I paid the bill and then Rad Power Bikes reimbursed me for the cost. Since it wasn't my fault, it wasn't like... I'm going in because I don't want to put it together myself. It was the bike frame was, you know, crooked and I needed to take it somewhere to have it fixed, <laughs> um, you know, or fixed where they could put the, the bike, the rack on, Ugh. you know what I mean? Anyways, so side note, besides all of that, I'm going to go ahead and install pictures of how I have my bike looking right now. So here's how it looks. So that's how I have my bike set up. I kept the blue basket in the front for a couple of reasons. One, uh, when I tried to put the blue crate basket in the back, um, there just was some issues with um, it not feeling as sturdy as it did in the front because in the front there's shock absorbers, you know, so you don't feel the bumps as much. And then also the rack in the front of the bike is wider. I'm not sure if it's as long, but it's wider and it's got more bars going across. So it felt like there was more areas to zip tie it to. And it just felt like it had a stronger hold because it it uh, touched three of the sides of the crate. You know, because the sides of a crate are the strongest points of it. It's like it's bones. Um, whereas on the back, but when I put it on the back rack, it didn't quite get as many sides. Um, uh unless I had it pushed up to the seat. But when I had it pushed up to the seat, I couldn't hook my hand under and grab the handlebar uh, of the of the seat of the bike for when you wanna like lift it up and move it around. And that's like an important feature I like on the bike. So if I move the crate basket over a little bit, it didn't have support on, it just had support on one side, one bone of the, um, the crate because the, like I said, the rack is thin or like skinnier, I mean. So it doesn't carry the two sides, you know? Um, anyway, so that was just a preference thing and I, I just haven't quite find the thing I wanna put on the back of my bike yet. Um, but let me know what you put on yours. Um, if you have an Instagram, mine's Macbeth and Fries. You may see Beth and Fries because I love French fries and my name is Beth. <laughs> um, so let me know your Instagram and I'll follow you and I'll see um, what, uh, what bike stuff you have and like just let me know like how do you how do you like trick out your bike like what do you do to your bike what cool things you might have your bike set up on your e-bike or whatever that I don't have or I don't know about just like let me know um thanks for watching this video hopefully it was helpful or informative or whatever or just fun to watch bye